start very high, okay, start at a slow pace. Slow pace is not slow hands. Hand is always fast, but to create spin so your ball is not too fast. Forehand to forehand at a pace where you know you're not going to miss. Clear? Okay. Let's go. Okay, again, no problem. Again. Better. Good. Good. Prepare, accelerate. Good. Prepare early, up, and you accelerate. Good job. It's okay. He doesn't miss. Only you. We'll see. Again, again, again. Good job. Very good. Good job, Ricardo. Very good. Yes. Perfect. Okay, good. Thank you. Bravo. So you're going to start every practice. Come with me. Start from the middle. Every practice. You take one ball, you have one ball. Zero miss. You play in front of you at a speed, a pace that you really control, like you just did. Super good. And you keep the ball. Okay, you keep the ball. Forehand, backhand. If he misses too long, you hit a volley or swing volley, but you keep the ball. You can, you can miss because he's going to hit a volley too. Mm -hmm. Deep. I mean, you try not to, but if it happens, he will save you with a volley and you will save him with a volley. But no balls in the net. Okay, you can do it. 100%. Okay, let's go. We start now. I'm going to take the time. You have a, your phone? Yeah. Yeah, please time it. Oh, no. no okay, I have it. Good. Okay. Where's my phone? Okay, I have. Okay, please uh, put the timer. Yeah. Thank you. Oh la la! One goal, no ball in the net. You can do it. It's, this is okay. This is okay. Good. Very good. Bravo. Good job. Bravo. Good. This is the most stupid exercise, but the best exercise in the world, this one. And you will see why. Pose this kind of exercise to him, yeah. like hit 100 balls without missing, with one, etc. He says always it's too easy and that when he go to play tournaments at this rhythm with this kind of... Yeah, but, eye, yeah, but when you cannot walk, you don't try to run. Sorry, but he cannot walk for the moment, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, so you should not try to run. Show me you can walk and do that exercise at that pace. Yeah. First, uh, no more than one minute. Okay. Show, he has to show that he's able to. Okay. Second, when he does this, at the end of the exercise, he will feel oh, unbelievable rhythm. He feels he cannot miss. You'll see. He'll feel incredible after the exercise. And second, he starts at that rhythm. If he's able to increase the speed and continue not to miss, no problem. No problem. Let's see. After in five minutes, if he didn't miss, I'm going to tell him. Okay. If you feel, you can go a bit faster now, okay. but continue not to miss, huh? okay. otherwise... Uh... That's clear. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a misconception for, from him of tennis. Ooh la la! Attention! De la marge, margin over the net, always! Good job! If you start to make him work like this, 
he will feel so much better in matches than night. He misses much too much. He's used to missing, so he feels I can miss any time. Yeah. How can you feel comfortable and, and, and confident like this? Impossible. Simona, she did the practice with Cornet at the uh, US Open. 30 minutes, full, bah, 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 both of them. Huh? 30 minutes, two and four steroids. Oh, man, really? But uh, they can't, they, they don't mentally accept to miss. It's crazy. So they're Novak practice, he misses the ball, bam, in the, in the fence, the racket. Huh? No, they, they refuse to miss. That's why they're so good. He accepts to miss much too much. And then it hurts, it hits him back. Because what you do at practice, it's you back in the match. How long do we have? He just completely missed. Okay. Three minutes, sorry. You happy with your, what you did or not? Yeah? yeah? Good, okay. So you think it's easy. First of all, it's not easy because you're tired mentally to do that. So it's not easy. And you did three minutes. Huh? You played slow, right? Yeah. You played slow. You missed after three minutes 30. Okay. And a lot of balls were short. Sure. And, uh, okay, so. To, to, every ball was different from the other. Like exactly. So to do this exercise well, which is the. That's what I said to your coach. I said, it's good to try to run, but first learn to walk. Okay? And if you're able to hit without missing as long as you want, playing always the balls with the same height over the net, with a good zone deep, then maybe you can start to try to accelerate and try to do the same quality a bit faster. When you can? After 45 minutes. Maybe 45 is too much. Maybe do 10, 15 already. Mm -hmm. With uh, every time depth, same height over the net, not one here, one here, one here, one long, one short, because then you're not consistent. You have to learn to be consistent. The top players, they don't miss. They don't miss. Count how many balls in the net in a match of top players. Count. Do the exercise. Watch a match and you count how many balls in the net the whole match. You'll be surprised. Why? They play always high over the net. Always. And they don't miss. And I, I told your coach, the top players, if they miss, they get, they get nuts. They, they hate it. It's impossible. You can't accept to miss at practice. Because you miss because you're not focused. You want to hit here, blah, blah, blah. you're not focused on the height over the net, you're not focused on playing deep, you're not focused on refusing to miss. It's not about hitting all the balls like crazy. This is not tennis. Nobody does that. The top ones, zero. Zero. Or, if they do, it's because they know they can do it and they're not going to miss. Otherwise, they don't do it. Okay? So, let's go back to the basics. The basic in tennis is first to hit the ball on the other side of the net. One more time than the opponent. That's the basic of tennis. So, let's go back to this. At a speed that you don't miss, with consistency and quality. Okay? When you're able to do that every day for one week, minimum 10 minutes without missing, maybe you can start to say, okay, now I continue to do the same five minutes, but the second five minutes, I do it a bit faster. But if I start to miss, I go back slower. Don't try to go from here to there. Okay? And then when you, because what happens in the match, there is a reason. Probably also psychological reasons. Maybe uh, you want too much, maybe, but this we will solve. This is not a problem. This we will solve, and the second thing we will solve is to have something defined very clearly on what are your goals during the match. But first, the practice has to be at the level that you want during the match. Okay? If you hit all the balls like crazy and you miss two out of three at practice, you cannot feel good in the match. Okay? Yeah. Let's start with that, and then you come back to see me uh, in a few weeks when he's uh, able to do this super well, then we, we raise the bar. Okay. Good? Thank you. <laughs> hey guys, if you enjoyed this video and want more tennis tips, first, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then follow me on Instagram at Patrick Muratoglu. See you very soon on a tennis court.